Hi everyone, this is me, Beth Marshall. I would like to take you through Postman's new feature, Flow Runner. So this feature has been in development for quite a while and was released on beta for the web app version only, not the desktop version of Postman. Um, but for the web version, it was released um, earlier this week, end of September 2021. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> so it's a really handy feature because it allows you to chain events together for Postman um, and link things without um, actually using any code or knowing lots of JavaScript, which is kind of the only way of doing it uh, before this feature was released. So I think it's gonna become a very useful way of opening up Postman to different audiences. Um, as I said, um, you can only access this on the web version. So if you're currently logged in to the desktop app, um, just go to postman.com and, and sign in to the um, web app version. And then once you've selected a workspace, you'll be able to go to the flows section on the left hand menu here and then select new flow. And that will um, create a new flow for you or the plus button here should do the same thing or the new there, I believe. Um, so you will see an empty canvas when you um, do this for the first time. And you can see down here there is a start button and an add block section. So the idea is you will always start from the start. It's a very good place to start, I hear. <laughs> and you can add in a chain of um, different events um, called blocks. So if we look at this block section here, we can see there's various different things that you can do to you know, do stuff with the data, validate it, add a for each um, condition, uh, combine it, um, annotate it, lots of fun, cool things that I'm sure there'll be more um, in future. Um, so here is a, a one I made earlier. And another thing to, a couple of things to mention that weren't um, intuitive to me, so they might trick you to um, you do need to select an environment, the same as you do when you use Postman for anything else. Um, when you try and run a request in Flow Runner, you need to make sure you've selected an environment from your drop down here first. Um, otherwise that won't work and you'll have to check why uh, by clicking on the console here um, and doing the usual uh, checking the console logs there. Uh, this flow it gets a request. I'm using the RESTful Bucket API. And if you want to view any of uh, this test case or any of the other ones that I, I have, um, I've used Amber Race's uh, code from her Test Automation University course. And my Test Automation University course on Postman also uses the same um, code and test cases. So you will find it all on there. I've used the Get All Bookings um, endpoint and this is against a kind of fake hotel um, booking website. So what it will do is bring back a list of um, all the bookings that are currently in the system. And I've added a for each block to that, which links with this data line here. And to that I've said for each um, item, in the body list. So for each booking that's returned from this endpoint, I want to validate. That's a new block that I've entered, a validate block. I want to validate if the number, if the booking ID is greater than one. So has there been more than one booking ID or not? So in other words, I might use this to understand if there's been lots of bookings that day or if it's been a particularly slow day for hotel bookings. Um, after this validation, that returns a, a Boolean, a true or false value. So it's either greater than one or it's not. Um, and I've put those in two different terminals. So if you think of terminals as 
like a bus terminus or a train station terminal and that's kind of the end of the line isn't it so this is the um there aren't any more things you can link to it after here i believe um but one thing worth mentioning is if data gets sent to here and it looks like nothing's been sent um you need to just remember that the data is visible in this terminal section here in the top right hand corner so you'll just need to select um, the log group that you've added to your terminal um, in order to see that here. So I'm going to go ahead and view booking IDs of one or less, which is this group here. And I'm going to click start and we can hopefully see this data moving through. So it's a neat little UI. You can see things are starting to move. And we're not getting anything yet that's going through our booking ID of one or less. Oh, there's something there now. Woohoo! So that's then um, appeared in our log. So hopefully that flow of data kind of made sense to you if you're quite a visual person. So what we've done is we've um, sent a request, an API request to say get all the bookings. And with that response data that we've got back, we've said for, look at each of the bookings in this response and for each of them tell me if that id is greater than one or not and then put those into two different sets of logs so if we look at booking id is greater than one we can see there's lots more information in here so that is my interpretation of um postman's flow runner i'm sure there's lots of amazing ways that you can think of to use this and to um uh, use this to kind of chain requests together um and validate the data that's in your um in your endpoints in a nice slightly more user-friendly way than trying to code it all in javascript um i hope you've enjoyed this and this is useful to you thank you very much. Take care. Bye.